Did we expect Roxanne Perez heel turn? And why am I talking about this heel turn one week after it happened? Why am I talking about this heel turn one week after she broke the arm of a lie of Valkyrie? Tyra of Valkyrie? Liar of Valkyrie? I'm not sure. We're not talking about her. We're talking about Roxanne Perez. Roxanne Perez was teasing a freaking heel turn for a long ass time, at least a month or two. She was teasing it. She was angry at the locker room. She was angry at every single woman in the locker room that her place is not there. Her spot is not in the main event. Her spot is not in the championship picture. And I think everything was ending whenever that championship match was happening and that schmuck Lola Weiss came into the match and inserted himself, herself into the match and made it triple threat match. That's when everything started really turning for Roxanne Perez. She even said it a few days ago that this was the turning point for her and she decided that now she is gonna take whatever she wants whenever she needed and that's it. And do you know what happened? Tatum Pexley comes out. And in wrestling, I don't know, even if you do a stupid ass mistake by hitting your partner, that means that you guys will not ever understand each other ever again. But for some reason, Tatum Pexley is still on Valkyrie's side. Guys, have you ever watched wrestling? Honestly. No? Okay, cool. But yeah, in all seriousness, I love the heel turn of Roxanne Perez. I really liked her as a face, don't get me wrong, I really liked her as a face. She's having some sort of aura that is really likable and it's not really relatable or anything like that, but she's really likable, she's really cute and small and cool and I'm not even sure what is her skill set. If you, if you ask me what is her skill set, I, I cannot tell you because I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, I like her, I like the energy, I like the character, uh, but now as a heel turn, I feel like we're yet to see her best work, even though she's not in the main roster, maybe she's saving her best work for the main roster, but she is gonna give it all, and I feel like this is the moment when the main roster will be like, oh my god, we need Roxanne Perez, bring her back, and also, can we guys talk about the fact that probably whenever we get Roxanne Perez versus Valkyrie at 1v1 for Stand and Deliver, probably this is gonna be the last Roxanne Perez match in NXT. Can we talk about it? And this is a little bit sad, I'm not gonna lie. But at the same time, she's gonna go to SmackDown, she's gonna go to Raw, where it's uh, packed with women that are top tier talent. And probably she's gonna get lost in the mix. And I'm gonna get scared about that, but we're gonna see. Really hyped for Roxanne Perez. Really hyped about her heel turn. Really hyped. Even if it doesn't work out, she can always go back face and win the crowd. And uh, I feel like this was the right direction. This is the right call. And I can't wait to see what she has in store. So with all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Boom! And I'm gonna see you next time. Peace.